Hi there and welcome to the vlog. The summer is finally here, which is a good thing. But at the same time, temperatures are rising and that brings lots of changes to my daily life. Living this way is a lot about ad adaptation. Um, and so I need to adapt almost every day to new situations. And at the end, everything is about power. It's about the electricity I have available. And 100% of my electricity comes from my solar panels. That means I need to park at the sun all the time. They also means it's going to be warmer inside. So I need to find ways to cool my van so I can stay inside and I spend lots of time inside but most of it for sleeping for the night so today I'm gonna show you all the things I do to make my life comfortable when it's very 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 warm outside <laughs> So this is my salvation when it's really, really warm. I have two like this. Another one is here somewhere. But I never had to use uh, both at the same time. One is more than enough. I can put it everywhere. And so I can put it pretty much where I want. I paid for this. It was very cheap. I, I don't remember for sure, but, but for the couple I paid around 8 euros, 10 dollars, something like that. And uh, they work pretty well. And it really is my salvation. It's the only thing that I have that um, when it's really, really warm, that changes everything and makes sleeping here very comfortable. So this is a game changer. Without it, I would be suffering sometimes with it everything's perfect put it everywhere I want and adapt to the place where I am and the way I'm sleeping I don't don't have I don't sleep all the time in the same position sometimes I change so with these I can adapt as well and it's perfect then besides these two fans they are the most important ones I have two more one on the roof and another one <laughs> and another one on the back door and the point of this is most of most of all when I'm I need to close the doors and it's very very warm outside I put them on because the consumption is around 0 0.1 hampers for an hour so it's almost nothing and brings a little bit of air inside so it's like they work a little bit like having the door open or the window open um, and I only use for those uh, circumstances when I'm st when I'm especially if I'm going to visit uh, some city some museum some something like that even if it's something that I, I don't do, almost don't do at all in the summer, but um, it's for that. When I need to stop, it's very warm and I need to close all the doors and lock the van, I put those on. This one almost all the time, sometimes both of them, and, uh, and that's it. This, this is very, very important. This is very important. Most of the heat, especially having a good insulation like I do, most of the heat come from the front. So, and mine is not a very, very good one. I need to, to buy better ones. But all the windows and glass, windshield, everything needs to be very, very well covered. And that is important also for the winter. As I told you, there are many, many ways to face the summer and the very high temperatures. And all, all of it is about adaptation, like this. 
it is some kind of cooling system and it is some kind of adaptation but also this which of course is also part of my cooling system and this of course is also part of my cooling system a very important part of my cooling system. As I told you before, it's all about adaptation and find new ways to be comfortable and enjoying living the way I want to live. So there are many small things that I consider part of my cooling system. Well, it's summer. In the summer, my way of living is very different from the winter. In the summer, most of the time, I live in places like this and the sea is also part of my cooling system Of course, also is part of my cooling system. At the end, all these small things are just part of my life, routine, things that I got used to do. And everything is very, very normal to me now. Having wind like today actually feels better inside the van than outside. The outside is too warm, the sun is too strong. And with the door open like this, it's just perfect to be there. Then there are always small things that I do. Like if, if I'm in a place like this, or even better than this one, completely alone in the middle of nowhere, I use a lot the outside and I want only come inside to sleep. Even if I always park on the sun, I can always play with the shadow of my van. I'll have it in the morning or in the afternoon. It's better on the afternoon. And of course in some places, I'll find a tree not far where I can leave my van on the sun and at the same time have a shadow for me to be seated outside. During night time, before I go to sleep, I usually stay outside. If I'm in the middle of nowhere, like I usually am, I'll stay outside listening to music or even watching a movie. And if I am with someone else, it's the perfect place for a very nice conversation, watching the stars and listening the sea, the sound of the waves at the same time. And then I'll go inside when it's time for sleeping, only for that. If I'm in some town, which doesn't happen often, but it happens, I like to go for a walk before bedtime. I go for a walk, sometimes I sit in a bar, have a coffee or a drink, or I just sit in a public bench watching the boat, stuff like that. It's always better than inside the van, especially if I can't have the doors open. And then I'll go inside once again when it's time for sleeping. 
And so this way we arrive to the end of the video. A little bit different, but maybe interesting. I hope you liked it anyway. So don't forget to put your thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel. We'll see each other again very soon. Take care.